Hello, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press. Started in 1985, coming up to our 40th anniversary. I'm also the creator of Ninja High School, Marvel Mongaverse, a Warrior Nun, Tomorrow Girl, and the new upcoming Bikini Sentai G Rangers, now on Kickstarter. Check it out. It's a fun little romp, combining Power Rangers with Beach Black and Bingo. Uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So uh, today, I'm going to talk about one of the things that has kept Antarctic Press alive, basically, these past years. And that is page rates and royalties. Now, there's no expectation that a creator should work for free. Seems like a lot of small publishers do that these days, though, so... It's uh, can it can be very alarming. There's some recent goings on where small publishers have been accused of non-payment, and I will tell you this is nothing new in the comic industry. This has been the way, you know, for since the beginning of the comic industry. Now, one of the things that uh, we learned early on as a publisher is that we cannot afford page rates. Now, what do I mean by page rates? Well, page rate is basically the amount of compensation a creator gets per page on a particular project. Now, Marvel and DC and a lot of small, bigger publishers operate on this model. They pay you a page rate, you know, an agreed page rate to the creator, and the creator agrees to produce the product. Now, this is with the expectation that the creator will own nothing. You know, he can create something tremendously popular that can make billions of dollars for the company, and he will get nothing. Basically, the, a page rate is a work-for-hire contract. Now, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I don't know what else is involved in the con in these days. I don't know. If that's true now, I mean, there may be caveats where a creator can own part of it, but I'm not, I don't know since I haven't worked for Marvel and DC since 2000. The last thing I did, uh, the, la the only thing I did for Marvel was the Marvel Mongaverse. I got a flat page rate and uh, that's it. You know, I don't get anything. I get royalties uh, if the book sells really well, but uh, <laughs> I tell you, I haven't got one in a long time. But anyway, that's uh, how they operate. Uh, so you, the creator, is not expected to retain any rights to whatever they create uh, for a company that pay you a page rate. Now, uh, that's the way it's been for a very, very long time. I, I mean, it's the reality of the business. You know? But the, the trade-off is that you're expected to get a fairly substantially uh, good page rate. You know, at least that's the way it's supposed to work. I'm not sure if that's true. I have no idea what the standard page rate. I know that when I was working for Marvel, uh, they had a tier system of page rates, depending on your level of talent, the seniority, and uh, what you negotiate. You know, I, I mean, if you're a Frank Miller or a, you know Todd McFarlane, then you could probably write your own ticket. But if you're Joe Schmo, just off the street, trying to find work, then you're probably going to not get as big a page rate as those guys. You know, uh, that's just reality of the business, and you have to accept reality sometimes. Now, Antarctic Press operates on a different system. We operate strictly on royalty, but that only applies to creator-owned projects. If Antarctic Press decides to do a project, you know, uh, that is uh, Antarctic Press started, then yes, we will negotiate a page rate, you know, and then if you accept it, then great, we can move forward. If not, then we'll find somebody else. I mean, that's just the way it is, you know, and uh, uh, we also try to include royalties if the book sells incredibly well. You know, if, if it's an Antarctic Press project. And we have done this in the past, especially when we were doing Warrior Nun. We pay a page rate for Warrior Nun. Warrior Nun, we uh, 
gay people um, uh, a page rate, and uh, they were quite happy with that. You know, we were able to do a lot, a lot of warrior non projects because of that. Now, if you're a creator, you're going to go on a royalty system. Now, uh, we do not operate like Image Comics does. We don't take anything off the top like they do. A lot of people don't realize this, but with you work for Image, and I did work for Image. I did a project called The Agents for them, where they will take a, a certain amount from your project before they pay you a royalty. You know, and they don't pay you page rate either on creating their own project. They pay royalties. But the caveat is for them to stay in business, they take away, you know, money from you, the creator, to in order to sustain their business. You know, and uh, that's how they operate. You know, and that's probably why they're still around. You know, if you lose money on a project, you can literally owe image money. You know, I mean, you know, how screwed up is that? You know, but again, that's the way it is. I'm not sure if this is the way it is now, but it was when I was working for them. Now, we at Anarchist do not do that. We pay the advance, and then we give you a royalty based on sales, no matter what. No matter how poorly the book sells, uh, you still get to keep whatever you make, and you still get paid a royalty based on sales. You know, And uh, if Anarchist loses money, well, then it loses money. But hopefully we won't lose money because losing money is the worst thing a small publisher can experience. I will tell you that, you know, and that's just the, one of the realities of the fact. And then if your book sells really well, then actually your royalty goes up, you know, and you get even more money. So the expectation is that the book will sell extremely well and uh, you'll get good compensation for it. You know, now, one of the things that uh, we try to encourage is that, you know, if a creator who's just coming out is uh, uh, does not do well, we try to put a positive spin on it. I mean, it's, it's, I've seen a lot of creators get discouraged because their sales for the first issue that they do did not do, you know, really well. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it can devastate a creator, a first-time creator. You know, but I tell you, don't be discouraged by that. You know, it's just part of the process. If you really want to find success in comics, you've got to keep driving at it. If you firmly believe in what you're doing, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't give up. You should just keep going and keep going no matter what. No matter what happens, you know, you should keep going. You know, uh, if you have a day job, I wouldn't quit it, you know, until you can see success in your creation. You know, but... Uh, it was, uh, it, it, but don't give up. I would highly encourage any creator, you know, to learn from their mistakes, see what they did wrong, why did the book didn't sell as well as it should, or or maybe it was just something, you know, some outside factor that play, may play a part in it, you know. The beauty of it is that whatever you create, you get to keep forever. You know, maybe something didn't do well, but you can have it, you know, and reprint it, and put it out again, you know, keep it up, and it's yours. It's yours forever, you know, and that's the beauty. The more you create, you know, it's the more you have, you know, and that's that's what's important is you build up a body of work that eventually people will hopefully see uh, and hopefully will starting, start supporting, you know. So one of the new models that we're doing is that we uh, encourage people who have crowdfunders who have successful uh, projects and uh, to bring their project to Antarctic Press or at least to submit it. You know, let us see what uh, what you have to offer. You know, the, 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 the main advantage is that you will get your comic into comic book stores. Now, it may not be an important uh, aspect to a lot of people, but uh, to some creators it is because it increases your exposure. And I... You know, don't believe this personally, but a lot of people think that it adds a lot of legitimacy to their product, you know, to see it in comic stores. And uh, the the big, huge advantage is that your creation has already been paid for. You got to fund it. You know, you got it. Uh, you got it out there. You know, you got uh, a fan follow, uh, fan following. 
So why not just put your comic into comic book stores? And that's where Antarctic Press comes in. You know, we can get your comic into comic book stores if we like if we like the project. You know, so I, of course I can't guarantee that we'll accept every project that comes down the pipe, but uh, what do you got to lose? You know, I mean, the worst we can say is no. You know, and if, uh, uh, if you know, you can just keep doing whatever you're doing, but we think that uh, this is a model that we'd like to continue to use. And it has had a lot of success. We you know, for example, we did uh, Larry Higgins' Niobe, which was a Kickstarter project, and it proved to be highly successful. We did Tom Hutchinson's with um, Critter, you know, and it's proving to be highly successful. We're doing uh, Winnie the Pooh, Demon Hunter, doing The Flock. We're doing all sorts of crowdfunded projects, you know, that are now coming out in the comic book stores. And I see that as a future model for Antarctic Press, you know, and and that's just one of the things that we have to do. We have to adapt and we have to, uh, you know, change with the changing times, with, you know. But anyway, uh, I hope that uh, uh, enlightens you on how Antarctic Press has survived these past years and hopefully uh, we will continue to do so. And well, we thank you. I thank all of you. I thank all of my re- our readers. We thank all our supporters. Thank all our fans. We love to hear from you. You know, if uh, if you have any uh, opinions on the product that we put out, how we can improve, then please let me know. I would love to be able to hear from you because one of the things we we pride ourselves on is that we do listen to our fans. Um, also, please like, please subscribe. The usual blah 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 and uh, also i do like i said in the beginning i have a kickstarter campaign going uh it's all got a few days left so hopefully you'll be a backer until next time this is ben dunn signing off